Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss nails and a men's manicure so you look well-groomed wherever you go. When I say manicure, I don't mean a girly manicure that takes one hour and has nail polish and all that stuff. I mean a quick, proper treatment of your nails that makes you look well-groomed and dapper so it fits the rest of your outfit. Sometimes I come across tips for dates and people say, oh, clip your nails, but actually that's not quite enough. And if you want a really nice looking set of nails, it just takes a few more steps that are simple and we'll explain them in this video. For example, take a look at Prince Charles. He's really well dressed, he has great style, but if you look at his fingernails, the nice cufflinks and the watch really don't look as nice anymore because of his cuticles and his not so well groomed nails. If you have dirt underneath your nails or if you bite your nails, they look short, they're yellow, they're just ugly and people will judge you for it. Honestly, you don't need to go to a nail salon. You can do it in 10 minutes or less at home and it looks really well groomed and you can do it repeatedly even when you travel. So what tools do you need? The basic set includes a nail clipper, a cuticle clipper and a nail file. We put all of this together in a nice little travel grooming set for you from Fort Belvedere that even comes with a pair of tweezers. It's TSA approved so you can travel with it in your carry-on and it's all very convenient and it's all you really need. Of course, just like anything from Fort Belvedere, it's a quality set made of aniline dyed leather in Germany and the tools are not just the regular stainless steel ones, but they come from Solingen in Germany, a town that's renowned for its high-end quality knives and cutting wear and nail clippers. If you want to get an even better manicure, you should invest in a buffing block and a larger file because you get into the angles of your nail beds much better. The other tool that's really helpful is a so-called cuticle pusher that has a little tip and a little pusher at the end. and It really helps to remove all of the dry skin around your cuticles. Optionally, you can use some hot water that makes your cuticles softer and easier to trim. And last but not least, you should invest in a quality hand cream because it really helps to give your nails a polished look and it's also good for your hands. All right, gentlemen, first let's discuss the basic manicure with these three tools step by step. Step one, using a nail clipper, clip slowly and in small steps along your nail bed so a little edge of white remains. Don't cut it all the way down to the nail because it's not good for your nail. Make sure you follow the natural curve of your nail. Step number two, use a cuticle clipper to get rid of any hangnails, which are little pieces of skin or nail that stand off in a weird way and get them flush with your skin. You use the same tool to cut your dry cuticles. Be very careful and only cut the parts that are dry. Don't cut too deep, otherwise you'll bleed and it also dry out your cuticles even more. If you cut non-dry cuticles, they will dry out and it's a vicious cycle of cutting, drying out, and you wanna prevent that. Normally, most men won't even do that step. They just stop after cutting them, but filing is really essential because it smooths out your edge and also it helps to prevent any nicks, let's say in your silk tie or in your suit, because sometimes when you have rough nails, it's very easy to pull a thread and destroy your neckwear. In step number three, you use the file. First, you use the rougher side and you hold it perpendicular to your nail filing off all the rough edges. That's followed by using the finer side at a 45 degree angle to make sure you don't have any rough edges standing on your nail. Simply glide over with your fingertips to see if there are any rough edges and repeat until it's all smooth. Especially with the finer side, be gentle, don't be too harsh and push a lot, otherwise you'll get deep grooves and you just wanna have smooth nail edges. Last but not least, step number four, use the tip of your file and remove any dirt that you may have underneath your nails. A lot of it may have come off during clipping it, but you just wanna make sure everything looks well-groomed and neat. All right, gentlemen, that's the basic nail grooming manicure routine. If you wanna get a step up, you can add a longer nail file, a buffing block, as well as a cuticle tool or a cuticle pusher that helps you keep your cuticles intact and just create a very nice look of your nails. Step one is just like before, clip your nails, be slow, use three or four steps and make sure you stay along the natural curve of your nail and leave some white. An optional step here is to soak your fingers in water beforehand. It makes your nails softer and makes the clipping much easier. Alternatively, you can just clip your nails after you've taken a hot shower, it has the same effect. Step number two, use the cuticle pusher and push back your cuticles 
gently. Make sure the angle is not too steep and not too flat. Once you've done that, use the opposite pointy end of the cuticle pusher and remove any dry skin or dirt around your cuticles. Step number three means use the cuticle clippers and clip off any hangnails, things that stand off, or dried cuticles. Make sure to leave the not so dried cuticles intact, otherwise you'll dry them out more and it's just a vicious cycle. Step number four is to use the file. Usually you have a rougher side and a finer side. However, I suggest you start with a finer for your fingernails and a rougher one for your toenails. The advantage of having a long file versus a small file is that you have a better angle you're quicker and you can just get into those cracks better. A larger file is really inexpensive and it's just easier and faster. So it's a great investment. To see what kind of products we recommend, please head over to our guide here. Step number five is to use a buffing block, which is a very fine sand grid. Ideally, you hold it between your thumb and your middle finger or index finger and hold it at an angle of about 45 degrees and gently go back and forth. And it's fantastic to smoothen out the edges of your nails without hurting them and without creating any deep grooves. Last but not least, in step number six, use the pointed end of the cuticle tool and remove any dirt that remains underneath your nails or around the skin so you have a well-groomed nail bed. Personally, at the very end, I like to give my nails a little bit of oil and I use a nice quality hand cream. I apply them to my fingertips, gently massage them, and then rub them into my cuticles. Same thing with the thumbs. And at the very end, I just rub the remainder of the lotion onto my hands. That way, my hands stay moisturized, my nails are well-groomed, and I look very handsome. If you want an even more detailed manicure or pedicure, head over to a salon, but honestly, I believe that 95 or even 99% of all men are just fine with a basic or the basic plus routine. Now you know all the steps of a perfect men's manicure to some other ailments that may come in the way of looking well-groomed. The biggest issue is biting your nails. Not only does it look very immature, but you also get rough edges and your nail becomes shorter over time and it just looks very odd. The reasons why people bite nails are manifold. They can stem from stress or other things. One way to remedy it is to maybe have a rubber band around your wrist so you can direct your attention from biting your nails to pulling on the rubber band. Alternatively, there are treatments like Mavala, which is basically a bitter nail polish that just tastes so bad that every time you try it, you stop. Another thing I often see in men's nails that looks quite not so well groomed are cracked cuticles that are dry. And just like Prince Charles, it just brings down your overall look. The way to prevent it is to stop overclipping your nails, try to avoid hot water and moisturize often so your cuticles look healthy and well-groomed. Another thing I sometimes see in men's nails are discolored nails, either from smoking a lot, they get that yellow tint. If you notice that your nails are discolored, it's probably best to contact your doctor to see what the reasons are. The same goes for lifting of your nails, splitting, or excessive grooving. That's just something you have to figure out on an individual basis. Most importantly, every man can have well-groomed nails and all you need is a few simple tools and just that quick routine that takes about 10 minutes. If you're interested in a nice nail kit, you can check out the one we offer here on our website. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our guide on men's grooming mistakes and also sign up to our channel, it's free, and you get videos like this right to your inbox. Thank <laughs> you.